So now we have that front boot all mounted up and we're happy with where that is placed. We are going to get onto the back boot. Very simple procedure. Everybody is very different here. There is no stock setting. So on a rear toe plate like this, we want to be comfortable to kick our foot in that rear kicker as hard as we can and not be making contact with that front boot. And how to measure that number. We put that tape measure in through that back boot. We again contact the same point that we would on the hard shell or the stance boot as before and we pull that tape measure up and we find that number right at where the top of our ankle is going to be. For me, I'm a US size 10 and I like the measurement of around eight inches. This is very different for everybody. Some people will be as close as seven and a half, seven or even six and that is okay. So once you reach a number that you feel comfortable with, we start off by loosely putting in all of our screws because with these rear toe plates, the animals, whatever binding you have on that back foot, we can always twist it a little bit. For me, my preference is to have it straight as I feel like this gives me the most consistent feel. However, a lot of people like to open up their back foot. This can make it a little bit more comfortable on the hip and allow us to be in a little bit more of a powerful position especially if you have tight hips or ankles. So as you'll notice, I am using the one piece washer that comes with the HO back boots. When you're fitting this, just make sure that the whole pattern matches up with the washer and this spreads the load out through the whole of the back plate. However, if you do not have one of these, some large washers can be suffice. And now you have all of those boots mounted. We just go around one more time and double check that every single one of those screws is nice and tight and we haven't missed one. So as well as the rear toe plate, we obviously also have the rear boot setup or the double boot setup. This can be a little easier to set up but also a little bit trickier to make the same every single time. However, a general rule of thumb for me, and because with the rear boot that we can put our foot in a little bit slower, we can test it a little bit easier. It always goes in the same place because there's no big kicking forces going on. So we screw our bindings probably as close as we can get to the nearest screw hole. Then once we have it entered, we put our foot in and we want to measure and we don't want any more than a finger's width gap in between our, our longest toe and the boot in front. If we go further separated than that, we're going to have more of a tendency to get stuck on that back foot. And with the rear boot set up, you're already a little bit at the mercy of that anyway. So keeping those feet a little closer together, if you find that comfortable, is probably the best way. And in terms of measuring this, if you're taking notes and if you're wanting to keep this on different skis, there's two options for this. The first option we have, and probably the most simple but the least exact, is measuring from the hinge point or the ankle of each boot. So on the animal boot here, it's around here. So where that ankle bone would be. And again, on that rear boot, where that ankle or that hinge point in the binding would be. We then measure from that front hinge point to that back hinge point and that is the separation of your ankles. This can be quite an easy one to do but again isn't the most exact. The other measuring option is to remove the front boot for a second, measure your binding like you normally would, say that's 30, we then do the same thing, we place our boot back where it's going to be and we measure from the tail of that binding. So that's 17. We can then subtract the first number from the second, so 30 from 17, and we are left with 13. That essentially is the separation from heel to heel. If you're keeping the exact same bindings every time, this can be easy to replicate on different skis and make your life a little bit easier to get the same setup every time.